Shout out to Felix Gray for sponsoring this update. Felix Gray offers glasses specifically designed for people who suffer from eye strain while using computers that filter out the blue light and give your eyes a break. Try them with free shipping and free returns when you visit felixgrayglasses.com slash no. Welcome to The Know, I'm Mika. We might not have to wait all the way until PSX in December for some of PlayStation's biggest announcements. According to Sony, they'll be unveiling some brand new titles as soon as later this month. The company teased these announcements on new blog posts about a live stream event during the upcoming Paris Games Week event, writing that they'll be giving a slew of updates and announcements before moving straight into the Paris Games Week 2017 media showcase, where you'll get a look at some spectacular new games coming to PS4 and PSVR. That PlayStation Live event happens on October 30th, so mark your calendars now. Nobody has any idea what Batman Arkham developer Rocksteady is working on next, but the studio has started to tease just a little bit about their next project. Over the weekend, marketing manager Gaz Deves tweeted to eager gamers, be patient fans. I know we're not talking right now, but when we do, people are going to lose their minds. Can't wait. Th there's a bit of mixed messaging there. Just be patient, guys. JK gets super hyped. But <laughs> while there have been tons of rumors surrounding Rocksteady's next game, most of them centering around some kind of Superman title, there's really not much more to those other than YouTube conspiracy videos and hopeful speculation. So we'll just have to keep waiting and see if our minds will actually be blown. Rockstar only dropped Red Dead 2 Redemption 2's trailer last week, but that hasn't stopped fans from already mining it for secrets, to the point where they think they've even mapped out all of its locations. Sleuthy gamers have been hard at work over the last few days, matching up shots from the trailer with specific locations on the allegedly leaked Red Dead Redemption 2 map from a couple of years ago. And the results are fairly impressive. They've done this by matching up landmarks in the backgrounds of shots and also consulting the elevations of the leaked map. Of course, we'll have no idea if those cartographers are on the money until the game's out, but it sure is fun to try and get everything we can out of the scraps that Rockstar gives us. FIFA 18 is out now for football lovers, but some fans are a bit unhappy with the Nintendo Switch version. Reports are coming in that there's no online lobby at all for the Switch version, meaning there's no invitation system and you can't play matches against your friends. This is probably one of those things that will be addressed when Nintendo eventually launches their official online ecosystem next year, but it's definitely a bummer for those who want at least as much functionality as games like Mario Kart or Splatoon. Considering EA is using FIFA 18 as a barometer for multi-platform games on Switch, it also doesn't give the version quite as fair of a shake. PUBG is tearing up the charts on PC, and by all accounts, the console version will be hitting the Xbox One within the next couple of months. The big question on everybody's minds, of course, is what happens with the console version after that? However, Bloomberg is reporting that PUBG developer Bluehole is now in talks with PlayStation about a PS4 release of the game, based on quotes from the company's founder. It was only a matter of time before we got news about a possible version of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds coming to the PS4. The only thing we won't know is how long it's going to take. It's clear that Bluehole has some sort of exclusivity agreement set up with Microsoft at the moment, but the particulars of that are still unclear. Either way, it looks like PlayStation gamers have some good news. Apparently, hackers are popping up all over the place in the PC beta for Call of Duty World War II. There's a whole subreddit devoted to finding the cheaters, with some saying they've found multiple hackers in the same match. Another post on the subject hit at the top of the game subreddit, getting more than 3,500 upvotes from annoyed gamers. The poster wrote, It's becoming more and more difficult to find a game in the WW2 open beta without there being an incredibly obvious hacker not trying to hide it. Sledgehammer hasn't commented on this yet, but hopefully they've noticed and are taking action. Call of Duty World War II will release, hopefully hacker free, on November 3rd. Sony is releasing a new, slightly more streamlined version of the PlayStation VR headset. The new model moves the headphone jack to the back of the unit, and it also has an upgraded processor unit that makes HDR pass-through possible without having to unplug the headset's HDMI and plug the headset directly into the TV. The new model is being released in Japan October 14th in a bundle along with the PlayStation camera for about $400. No word on a release date for other parts of the world, but you know we'll keep you posted. While the new Metroid 2's remake, Samus Returns, has been a hit with fans and critics, its producer says don't expect any more remakes anytime soon. Game Rant interviewed producer and franchise co-creator Yoshio Sakamoto, who said he has no current plans for another remake. And it will ultimately be up to the fans, he said, whether or not more remakes will happen in the future. That's a bit of a bummer, considering how good Samus Return is. But, of course, there's Metroid Prime 4 and the works for Switch, so that'll have to tide us over for now. The mini retro consoles just keep on coming with yet another one announced. What is it this time? Sega Genesis Intellivision? Well, nope, it's the 
Commodore 64 of all consoles. The miniature version of the 1982 computer comes with 64 games, a joystick, a USB charging cable, and of course, an HDMI cable. Oh, and you can also use it as a very basic home computer too, so that's kinda cool. It's not hard to see why they're making this. Nintendo has shown with the NES and SNES Classic that retro gaming is super hot right now, so everyone's clearly trying to get on that craze. We finally got a release date for Stardew Valley on the Switch, and if you're like our office, you are super excited about this. The game will release, drum roll please, this Thursday, and that's according to creator Eric Barone, who wrote, I'm very happy to see Stardew come to a Nintendo console. I grew up on Nintendo after all. This will not only be the first time Stardew Valley appears on a Nintendo platform, but also the first time Stardew will be on a portable system. He also shouted out Six Head Games, which developed the port. Barone wrote, they did a great job as always and deserve all the credit. The game will cost 15 bucks and we can't wait. Does playing video games make you smarter? Well, that's the finding in a new study from a German university where gamers competed in against non-gamers in a learning competition. According to the results, gamer performed significantly better and showed an increased brain activity in the brain areas that are relevant for learning. One of the study's authors, Sabrina Schneck, said, our study shows that gamers are better in analyzing a situation quickly to generate new knowledge and to categorize facts, especially in situations with high uncertainties. So, all this time we weren't wasting our lives with video games, we were in genius training. So take that, mom and dad. Well, that is all the news we have for you today, and remember to comment on any of your favorite news story in the comment below, and for more news from all the corners of the internet, remember to like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to the now. Thanks to Felix Gray for sponsoring this update. If you use PCs a lot for work, or like me, for a lot of gaming, you can notice a bit of strain after a few hours. Felix Gray offers glasses with lenses specifically designed to filter blue light and eliminate glare, which are two big culprits behind that eye strain. The glasses themselves are crafted from premium Italian acetate and their blue light filtering material is built into the lens so that they're effective but don't have the yellow tint or color distortion you sometimes see in other computer glasses. If you want to try them out and give your eyes a break, Felix Gray offers free shipping and also free returns so if you decide they're not for you, you're not out a penny. Get yours at felixgrayglasses.com slash no.